Okay, here's how to play track number eight from Blunderbuss. Um, it's called I'm Shaken. It's a fun one. So, it's gonna first pull up this tab. It's a super good tab um, in the description. And it's gonna go. <laughs> so, the main riff is like. Um, gonna go. So you go two, zero, two, and then you do a hammer on, zero, two, and then sometimes he hits those twice, or you can just do a hammer on. And you pull off from five to two, zero, and then the low E. So. So that's the main riff in the song. So one more time. Two, zero, two. Then you hear a hammer on. Zero, two. Then a hammer on. Zero, two. Five, two, pull off. Zero. And then low E. And then sometimes I do like little strums of E. And then you in between. And then. Then he'll do a strum. And then he goes to an A major chord. You really gotta play along to get the feel for these chords because they're kind of like random when he throws them in. As soon as he goes to G5 real quick. And then just little brief E, e majors. So the other thing you'd really want to know for this song is the solo. So look at the tab and it's pretty much right except for one part is significantly wrong. So I'll point it out. Let me just sort of play along with the solo once. Mm -mm. So basically what he's doing is if you look at the tab it goes that part's right, so three zero three zero two zero three. The next part in the tab says to do three right here. But it's, that's not D, the note is actually B. So go to the fourth fret right here. And then he goes. So he does four a bunch of times, then two a couple times, then two zeros. And then up to E. So. And after that, you can slide up to five, and you want to bend. This part is right. You still got to play along, like, to start getting the feel. I think there's two fives though, so you go. And then it just stops. It kind of feels like the soul is going to keep going, but it just stops. So the main change there in the tab, it's pretty much right, except you want fourth fret. Where it says third fret, right after the high, after the intro. That note's wrong, you want. So that's it. This is an easy song, but it's actually like pretty hard to play along to because it's kind of quirky and like real sort of bluesy, like in terms of just kind of being a little bit feeling organic. So you just got to play along a lot. If anyone has any questions about this, let me know and I can do a follow up. All right, bye.